Me, mm. Arnold. And once again, he's surviving on just $5 a week. Hey, Arnie, maybe it's time you find yourself a decent job instead of agreeing to dubious offers from strangers. New burrito-flavored toothpaste. What the heck? No, don't eat it, you moronical! Toothpaste contains fluoride, and eating as little as 0.01 ounces of toothpaste can increase the level of fluoride in your body. If you were to eat like this for 30 days, you could develop fluorosis, and then your mouth would turn into an art gallery, where each and every tooth would have a different and unique pattern and color. Arnold, I think you're best at monetizing experiments on your own body. But there is a little problem. Not just tourists want to take photos with you, but also dentists. After all, you're the only person who's been eating toothpaste for a week. It's hard to believe, but if you eat toothpaste with fast food, the risk of suffering from obesity increases by several times due to the antimicrobial agents that are supposed to fight bacteria in the oral cavity. They'll destroy the microbiome in your stomach, disrupt your metabolism, and blow you up like a birthday balloon. I have two pieces of news. The good news, your dealer has been caught and is facing jail time. And the bad news, you're in horrendously awful condition, and your diagnosis is toothpaste addiction. Yes, who would have thought that because of some toothpaste, you'd end up on the verge of death? Now, a long and serious rehabilitation awaits you. Triclosan is a substance in some toothpaste that can knock out your nervous system from just one tube. You'll feel your limbs go numb, and chills will run through your body nonstop. But running will probably be out of the question for you, as your neuro transmitters will lose control over your muscles. Ooh, Arnold, looks like someone had some fun last night. And something tells me your brain is probably just as much of a mess as this room. You really don't remember anything at all. Arnold, could it really be? Last night, did you finally become a real man? Congratulations, Arnold. This is your first alcohol intoxication. And these are the first unpleasant consequences of a new acquaintance. Arnold, how about a toast to your new friend? Ah, well, I see, of course. If you gotta, you gotta. Oh, Arnold, did you really want to make a lifelong reminder of this event? At least you'll have something to tell your friends about later. As you can see, the consequences of alcohol intoxication don't just damage your health. They damage your bank account, too. Oh, you were unmatched in generosity last night, Arnold. You were the king of the party. Hmm. Now, where's your tooth? Anything ring a bell? Nothing? No? Arnold, you didn't know this, but drinking too much leads to unnecessary aggression. And you certainly paid a price for that. Ooh, you found a solution. Time to take aspirin. Oh, wait, no. You forgot to restock your first aid kit. But really, Arnold, all these troubles are just in your head. Mineral water is a miraculous thing. You're dehydrated. Just need to replenish the missing water from your body. What's with the jacuzzi? I totally understand if you want to quit drinking after last night, but not water. You didn't think it'd be that easy to escape your hangover, did you? Someone call Spielberg. We have a plot for a new Jaws. What is it, Arnold? Are you calling an ambulance? Ah, you decided to recharge your strength with delicious pizza. But you forgot about one thing. Booze breath. These are the decay products of ethanol that appear in the body after the liver has taken over its processing. One of them, acetic acid, has a particularly nasty smell. Hey Arnold, you sure you still want to sleep after eating? Sadly, you can forget about sleep. Cerebellar functions are impaired after alcohol intake. As soon as you close your eyes, the cerebellum ceases to have enough data for orientation in space and starts transmitting broken data to the cerebral cortex. Say hello to bed spins. Poor Arnold. It's a pity just to look at you. Let me give you one piece of advice. Right now, a cup of hot tea will save you. Wrap yourself in a warm blanket and fall asleep so soundly that no prince can possibly wake you up with his kiss. Arnold, I told you it would help. 
Hey, I see the late night beer bash is a big success. But don't forget, in the morning, you got a conference of below 60 IQ YouTubers. And if you're late, your career is toast. There's no time for the toilet. You gotta hold it, buddy. The bladder comfortably holds 150 to 200 milliliters of fluid. But after 400 to 500 milliliters, you'll feel some pressure. You must have drunk a lot. Eee, looks like the boss is in a bad mood. And for sure, he ain't gonna let anyone take bathroom breaks. Fluid is absorbed into the kidneys, then descends through the ureter into the bladder. You're probably feeling a bit stressed, Arno, because now you got to hold the pee in with your muscles. I recommend you don't laugh, Arnold, or sneeze, or cough. Anything like that weakens the muscles, and you might start leaking. Hooray! Break time! You're saved! The average person goes tinkle six to eight times a day. Ooh, no luck there, Arnold. In ancient times, rules of decency allowed people to go wee-wee in public, and the division of toilets into men's and ladies only occurred in 1792. Okay, break's over, buddy. Now it's your turn to give your presentation. If you hold it in for a long time, the bladder walls can stretch, so you can hold even more PP. But this can be dangerous. Bacteria and acids in your urine can crawl back up into your kidneys, causing cystitis and pyelonephritis. It seems, Arnold, that everyone approves of your dissatisfaction with company policy. Come on, Arnold. I know you can hold it a little longer. Just 50 more talks and then you're free. Well, that's it. Time to go home. And Arnold, I advise you not to make any sudden movements. If your bladder is that full, it could pop. Yay, you're almost home. Now we just have to get through the morning rush hour. Move slowly. Arnie, this is your chance! A chili eating contest! And the blazing surfer's gonna be there! So, Arnie, your competitors are a Mexican and the devil himself. And you, Arnold, are gonna be eating the world's hottest chili, the Carolina Reaper. May God have mercy on you. Spicy food doesn't cause stomach diseases. The cause is harmful bacteria that enter the body with raw food products. If the illness isn't progressing, consuming spicy food can even help prevent the spread of bacteria. But remember, if spicy food causes discomfort, minimize its consumption. Keep smiling, Arnold. After all, spicy dishes contribute to the release of the happiness hormone. After coming into contact with the pepper, under no circumstances should you rub your eyes. You'll get a mucous membrane burn. And don't attempt to wash it down with water, as this will actually intensify the burning sensation. Milk can help. The citric acid present in milk, lemon, or orange can wash away capsaicin from the receptors and provide relief. Come on, Arnold, you can do it! Your idol is watching you! That's it! Huh? <laughs> hey, Arnie, now you'll be eating only raw meat like a carnivore. Can you feel how quickly your levels of adrenaline and aggression are rising? Of course, it'll be a little difficult for you to chew, as human teeth aren't adapted to eating raw meat. Better cut it into small pieces, like the ancient Mongols did. In fact, the most famous dish made of raw meat, steak tartare, is named after them. Without cereals, vegetables, and fruits, the flow of glucose, which is fuel for your body, will stop. Your liver will start to process its fat stores to meet your body's energy needs, and you'll start to lose weight, up to five kilograms a week. Your muscles will start to dehydrate and dry out. That's why a meat diet is so popular among Hollywood celebrities and supermodels. Cholesterol levels in your blood will go up, and, well, let's face it, you'll be at increased risk of heart disease. 
Amino acids will fill your intestines and they'll mix with bacteria from your skin and that will lead to a super grungy body odor. Raw meat does contain some dangerous microorganisms such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. And they can cause you to suffer from diarrhea, vomiting, and just general old heaviness in your stomach. But when your body finally adapts to such food, you'll feel a surge in energy and physical strength. The reason for this is increased testosterone and vitamin D levels. Even Bruce Lee himself, when preparing for fights, liked to have a tall glass of yummy fresh meat smoothie. Our ancient ancestors used to eat raw meat, but their lives changed forever when they figured out how to use fire and began cooking. That cut by two-thirds the time needed for digestion. So energy use moved from the stomach to the brain, and this triggered a cognitive revolution. Humans began to use much more abstract thinking and developed complex languages. And as a result, modern civilization developed. So eat, my dear Arnold, eat. And soon you'll end up with the IQ of a caveman or fashion model, which, meh, they're roughly the same. Arnie, did you waste all your money on the online farm again? Okay, fine. Now you're gonna have to eat virtual food. By the way, did you know that Bill Gates is a McDonald's gold card holder? It gives you the right to eat there for free. And you obviously need it more than anyone else. Where to start? I suggest the special suicide burger from Burger King. It's got four patties, four slices of cheese, and bacon. Eight hundred calories. And here comes the Mickey D's french fries. They contain 19 hidden ingredients. Arnold, eat! One burger patty can consist of parts from a hundred different cows at once. In total for the fast food industry, 50 million cows are butchered a year. Are you finished already? Then drink some soda. It's deliberately free here because it wets your appetite. Thankfully, to satisfy your urges, there are already 39,000 McDonald's open in 120 countries around the world. And in the UK, recycled oil from french fries even fuels trucks. Over the past 20 years, the number of overweight people in the world has tripled. You better stop, Arnold, because with a diet like this, you'll gain 10% of your body weight per month. And this will lead to... Arnold, stop already! You now have type 2 diabetes. You're depressed and your blood vessels are chock full of fat. And this could easily cause you to suffer a heart attack. Fast food is extremely high calorie and is practically devoid of vitamins and minerals. My advice, you need to urgently switch to healthy food cooked at home. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. There you go. Good for you, Arnold. How about I'm going to visit you for dinner tonight? O-M-G! Arnold! What in tarnation did you make? Roasted piglet? Chocolate caramel cake? That's not what I meant! It's not just about not eating fast food, buddy. It's about any kind of high-calorie food, and you're overeating. And don't forget about desserts. Arnold, it looks like gaining weight is your secret talent. You're really good at this. Well, soon you'll be ready to play the lead role. You're gonna be a star. So that's why they needed an actor with such a tremendous weight? Too bad, Arnie. Looks like all your effort was in vain. And your pay ain't even enough to get you home. So you decided to go on foot, did you, Arnold? Hey, Arnold, are you okay? Due to all the extra weight, your bones are under enormous stress. We need to calculate your body mass index. At 60 inches and 206 pounds, your BMI is higher than 40, and that's class 3 obesity, buddy. You need some serious help. Here, call this number. My friends are going to take you to a special place.
Here, in just a few minutes, all the excess fat is gonna be pumped out of you. Yeah. Uh, you look amazing. Oh, no. Meh, the saggy mm -hmm. skin will help remind you not to make stupid oh. choices in the future. And as for all your pumped out fat, on the black market, some cosmetics companies are willing to pay up to $15,000 for just 2.2 pounds of the stuff. So, Arnold, go on back home. Turn on the TV and go about your usual business. You know, being an imbecile. <laughs>